could you assure our viewers that the success of Otley Hall isn't being stymied by politics? In other words, is the ULP, can they be accused of engineering it so that the Otley Hall does not look not, successful? Not, not, from, any, not, from, where, not from where I sit. They, they, have a, they have a thing to overcome because one of the things we have to do at Otley Hall is to change the, um, the website. Because if you go on the website, all you find is all this rotten things about <laughs> investigation. Right. And that's so you've got to change the image here now. It's not just the image. I think what the ULP might be accused of is having said that it was only worth $5 million. It's very difficult for me now to go and get $50 million for it because, you so know, yeah. in, 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 the, in the inquiry, there was this talk about it's only worth $5 million. Right. And that came about by using the space that's there and seeing what you could earn. Yeah. It, it didn't come about, it wasn't a valuation of bricks and mortar. It was a valuation of capacity. Right. And the capacity in Otley Hall is limited that we only have one dry dock. That dry dock, there are people queuing up to go. So we need some investments. We need about... So you see a bit of a future for I the see Otley Hall. I, I see a Marina. good future, whether I'm there or not. I think there's we're, a we're quickly coming on to the end of the program. Now, mm. I want to get your comment on one thing. Again, mm. I'm going back to Dr. Gonzalez's book. He says that you... I must get this book, man. You should. <laughs> you should. I must get this book. He is saying in his book that you repeatedly would say to him that if you knew he was going to run such a good government, mm -hmm. that you would never have left the ULP in 2000. I, I said that to you tonight. I think yes. I said it in that... In, I said it in a way that I didn't expect that he would have been as sellable as, as he is. I mean, I saw him go to Mustique and w with his education, he's meeting people and he could talk to people and, and you don't get the raw things that when he was in opposition and he was a lecturer and he was preaching socialism. Gunsavs is a very um, presentable person. He's well read. So of the two people that are presenting themselves, Adam Uses of the NDP, Gunsavs <laughs> of the ULP, <laughs> It's a rhetorical uh, question for me to ask, where is Ken Boy's vote going to be? No, I, I, I don't think you, you should discuss that because it's more than, it's just more than um, the individuals. You've mm. got to look at the party and their policies. The, 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 the NDP under Eustace has yet to convince me that they have policies. If you just take this recent bank thing, they're totally out of whack. I believe that if this election is lost by the NDP, it's going to be based on their recent utterance about the, the bank. Na of that bank. Do you think that the ULP got them wrong-footed on it? I think, I think first of all, Gonzalez is a gambler, mm -hmm. quite frankly. And maybe this is why he's a good politician. It was a, a risky thing to do, to nationalize a bank with all the emotional things, so close to an election. But the NDP say, is saying it's a forced... It's, it's, a not forced forced. Sale. it's not forced. It's not forced. And, and the point I have to make on the bank, if you take my own dealings with the bank, um, the bank told me I had outgrown them. This is, this is the thing that most people are not seeing. The, the, the East Caribbean Central Bank says that you could only lend 10% um, of your assets to one customer. And, and we are getting to the stage where we need local investors need to be borrowing more than $10 million. So you're saying the bank needs to increase its asset base? It's, neat, it's net assets base. And the St. Lucian part of the new bank, yes. I know personally, has loaned as much as $60 million to a group of St. Lucians. So the argument the that local businessmen could have come up with the $42 million but, but is but a non-argument. That, that would not that? have changed the, yes. the bank. The yes. bank's problem is its low asset base. So and and And... And Gunsavs has retained 49%, whether for the government or right. for it local private. It will be divested private. further. But I, yes. I am betting, I'm telling anybody, that in five years' time, the government's um, earnings from the reduced shareholding would be twice what it was at the full shareholding. Well, Gunsavs makes the point where he says 20% of 
ten dollars <laughs> is less than ten percent of a oh, thousand or a something, thousand. something yeah. like that. Yeah, and, that, and that's true. Yeah. That, that, that's a very good argument to use. Now we're coming to the dying moments of this section, mm -hmm. and I want to wish Ken Boy well with his business endeavors. <laughs> but you have some breaking news for our viewers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I hear the uh, wedding bells are chiming yeah, soon. I, I, I've been living with a very charming lady for the last six years, and I, I just feel that I need to, to bring that relationship into an honest relationship, you know, and set a better example. I, I, you know, this is going to be my third marriage. Okay. And I have to tell you that um, my partner sent me a, an email the other day which, which had a quotation from a former CEO of, of Coca-Cola, I think it was. And he was saying that in life, you have five balls to juggle. Okay. Work, family, <laughs> health, friends, and what he calls spirit. And he's saying that the only one that could be a rubber ball is the work, because you could afford to drop it, but there there's a glass. Right. But having gone through all that we've gone through tonight, you know that there's more than that. Work to me is not a rubber ball. There are too many people depending on the success of my efforts and the success of your efforts for me to to mess around with work. And, so and, you're and saying the I had, I, I had five glass balls in the so air at one time. And, and maybe I didn't I pay enough attention to the other four. I paid a lot of attention to my work because, as we say from the beginning, I come from poor family and work has always been my the, the thing that I feel I could So the person at. who sent you that email is probably not aware of our circumstances here and understand from where we're coming from. No, well, she, she, she saw it and she sent me that because it, it highlighted family. Yes. And while I like to highlight family, I don't... Oh, it's your I, actual... I don't put it... It's your matrimonial partner it, that sent I, you that email. Yes, yes, okay. my partner. Yes. I, I, I don't put it against anybody in the Caribbean with the state we are in if they use work as a glass ball. For, for a man to sometimes neglect his family duties because of his pressures at work, I find that excusable. I also find that, you know, there's a spirit. I'm not an everyday church goer, but I have this spirit of right and wrong and what we do. And I believe that we have to have more balls Juggling. Juggling. Yes. Than a person who is a CEO in a developed country uh, running a company that was started years ago by somebody else. We are now forging new things. We're looking at airport. We're looking to do things. We have to put more effort so our than, than the average CEO. Our circumstances it, it, here are different. 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 So when, when people sometimes their marriage go wrong because of painful decisions you have to make about work or children's education or whatever. It, 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 is, it is not something, while I'm not advocating that everybody should get married three times, I think you should take your time and choose, yes. but quite often the circumstances beyond marriage leads one to maybe not perform the way that one was expected to at marriage or something in marriage. What you're saying about the ball that you describe as work, as a glass ball, um, isn't it going back to marriage as it is described in the Bible and the advice that the wife in particular is given to support the role of the husband? You, before you came onto this program, mm -hmm. made the comment that some people like what work brings, yeah, but, they, but they don't like, like the, the work itself. Yeah, yeah. The it, challenges it's, it's, that it's, the partner it's, faces. And then work. friends. There, a lot of marriages break because of advice from friends. Yes. In but let me friends, just let me just add in, this. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not supporting the view that a wife's role is only a support role. It can be the flip side. Okay. So it I'm just saying the leading be, partner. It could always work. be the flip yes. side, but I think people have to see I, I see it in Taiwan. Both people see the need for hard work. 
And if you do hard work, um, sometimes the, the little trappings, the cocktail parties that you miss, yes. and the little dress that you forget to bring back or something when you go, I think people should be a little bit more tolerant. I, I, I think black men in particular get a hard time in life. They, they, they're always being pulled down. That we do, and, and nobody sees the, the, the problems that we have in, in being a man. People are trying to pull us down to be less than men. Yes. And when we work hard, I mean, I'll give you an example. I'm in the KFC one night. And um, at Carnival, we're very busy, so I help. And it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and a guy comes into the KFC. And he said, boy, you can't take it with you. And what he really meant, boy, you're too effing greedy. Mm. OK? Because I'm working at 2 o'clock in the morning. But he is the same guy, just came from Victoria Park, where Stalin was singing, black Stalin was saying, um, Chinese man this, and oh, black this, man yes. lazy. And exactly. Black, you know, but the same guy would come in and see a black man working. And the first thing he would say to you, boy, man, you're too greedy. You're too greedy. Yeah. You know, so it's, missed, it's, it's, it's missed uh, the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're to the end of our program, Ken, mm. and um, the staff of IKTV certainly wants to be the first to wish you happiness in your new matrimonial venture. Thank you. I describe it as a venture, but um, unfortunately, for want, of, want of a better word. What you're saying, my other half won't see it because we're leaving on Sunday to go to Anguilla and. I believe this is shown on Sunday night, so yes. save a copy yes. for us. I will, and let me also wish you, mm -hmm. on behalf of the staff of AKTV, mm -hmm. success in your business ventures. Thank it's you. been a pleasure having you in the program, Thank you. and hope to see you back sometime Thank soon. You. Thank you very much. You've been looking at Unrendered. My guest was businessman Mr. Ormiston Ken Boy.